So I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, shoot, she back and she cutting her hair today. Guys, when I tell you that my stress levels are through the roof, like they've busted the freaking barrier. So let me just give you up. Oh shoot, my dogs wanna come inside, hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm back. So let me just give you a little backstory on what's going on. So. I've seen better days, right? We've all had better days, especially me. I got my hair bleached two years ago and I didn't get it like fully bleached. Like I was just getting it bleached because I wanted to get a balayage and things just turned for the worse. The lady that bleached my hair, this isn't like my now hairdresser. Meredith, you're amazing. I love you. Also, if you're watching this, please click off. <laughs> this is going to be cringy. But anyways, so this past hairdresser bleached my hair to give me a balayage it was a flop i don't know if she just bleached my hair way too harsh my hair is naturally curly i actually didn't do anything except put a more like straightening product in it after i took a shower yesterday so the bleach that happened two years ago was botched it was really bad and my hair was it was suffering like it went from being super shiny, super healthy, super thick to being very brittle. It broke off all the time and it just wasn't good. And so then I went to my now hairdresser, got my hair kind of bleached again and did a, a, a whole like new balayage thing. That didn't help my hair. I mean, granted it was my fault. I shouldn't be bleaching my hair. My hair is already super vulnerable because it's curly. And if you have curly hair, you know, our hair naturally just sucks. It just sucks. I did some more things to it back in quarantine and dyed it blue. It turned out terrible. Terrible. I got colorista and dyed it pink. That was a, oh my gosh. Let me just like insert clips. That was a moment. That was a mood. But she's dead. So I am going to be cutting my hair today because like, if you look at this right now, this side is significantly longer than this side. This side has a lot of damage and it's really sad. Like it's very, very sad. There are parts of my hair that are shorter than the rest and like i don't i'm not supposed to have layers like that's that's just not what i signed up for we're gonna do this we are going to cut my hair <laughs> like plain and simple that that's that's literally all i'm doing <laughs> so i watched a brad mondo video on how to cut your hair at home he made this back when quarantine was at its peak he says that you need to like section your hair if it's straight you need to make sure it's bone straight if it's curly it doesn't really matter because curly hair is like a whole different ball game and like i can agree to that curly hair just sucks so bad i hate it but i'm gonna try to straighten the pieces that are like super curl happening closer to my head obviously i'm gonna try to wear my hair more like straight than I am curly just because I don't prefer my curly hair. So we'll see how that goes. But guys, I usually get my hair cut from my mom. My mom is my hairdresser and she has been ever since I was born. She does a great job. She can do layers. She can do, she can do pretty much anything. She cuts my brother's hair, my dad's hair. So she knows what she's doing. If I flop, I can just get my mom to cut it. But my mom actually isn't available right now. So that is why I am taking matters into my own hands and doing something that I very well could regret. But I just told myself, you know what? It's hair. I actually have hair cutting scissors, which I know is very important to the hair cutting process. And these bad boys are going to do some dirty work today. So I also have a comb, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use this because I feel like it's just going to rip out more hair. And he also suggested having hair ties and a bunch of these little, uh, I don't even know what these are called, little hair ties, I guess. So he says to part your hair where you naturally part it. Gen Zers, don't come for me because I part my hair not in the middle of my head. Is that bad? No, I don't think that's bad. He also says to go like all the way down with it. So we're just gonna part it all the way, all the way down. I hate parting my hair with a comb, guys. I use literally anything, anything else besides a comb. Like, do I have a bobby pin? Oh, sweet. Also, look at my little baby hairs that are just, they're not doing well. Nothing on my head is actually doing well, let's, let's be honest. We are going to now section the hair into four pieces, he says. So I think we're just gonna take this like straight down. Is that a straight line? I can't tell. Oh gosh, guys, I don't know how I feel about this. So I'm gonna take one of these. I don't know, like this isn't a hair cutting tutorial. Definitely, definitely not a hair cutting tutorial. I think I'm gonna cut right below the lines. I don't know. Maybe I should redo it. Oh my gosh, I'm second guessing myself. <gasps> See, this is when you know that you shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. If you're second guessing yourself, 
already on doing a hair tie like what is you doing honey okay i'm gonna brush out my next section he said you could do more sections than just four and like honestly i can just have my mom fix it right like my mom can fix everything and like the thing is is we're supposed to get like the same lengths so this is gonna be the hard part are you kidding me okay let's say it's like right there do they look the same length no, one is significantly longer than the other. Oh, she cute. She made a match. Okay, moving right along. Also, look at how like dingy my hair is. I mean, obviously curly hair is already dingy. Let's be honest. Also, this section is going to be so short. Also, look at the breakage right here. I have a hair that is this long. Like that. that's literally the length of it. Ugh. Why? Why, Lord? Gosh, there's not much hair to cut right here, let me tell ya. Ooh, who is she? Who is that breakage? I am putting myself out here, being vulnerable for you guys for no reason. Let's check out the back. Okay, that actually looks pretty okay. We are just going to do it because why not? Why not? The only thing that's getting me through this is like, my mom can fix this. Ugh. Okay, guys. He also said, Trim like this. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my lanta, guys. This is so much hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? You just gotta pull the trigger sometimes. Sometimes you gotta do hard things. It's true. Sometimes you really have to do hard things. You can do this. You got this. No going back. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay, well. I guess this is like who I am now. Okay. We're just not going to even look at that. This one, this is so embarrassing. I literally don't have to cut much hair because like it's all damaged. You know, I don't feel bad about this side. This side, she needed to go. She has better places to be and it's not on my head. Oh my gosh. Guys, please don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry on camera. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. We're good. We're good. This is going to hurt. This is physically going to hurt me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's cool. We can have business in the front, party in the back. It's fine. Why do I feel like this is just like not twerking for me? If you're religious, just say a prayer for me right now because I am not doing okay. Fully not doing okay. Oh, she's thick. Oh. <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what though. The hair is on the back. Oh my gosh. That's so much hair. I'm fully, fully quaking. Like, what was I thinking? Like, honestly, like the texture on this is so good. I could do my eyeshadow with this. Oh, this is so hard. What is peripheral vision? Is this peripheral? No, depth. What is depth perception? Okay, screw it. Brad Mondo said not to do this, but I like literally cannot do it any other way. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cut my freaking finger. Have to go to the hospital and then have one section that's not done yet. That's my greatest fear right now. How would I explain to those nurses what was going on? To be like, please just trust me on this. I had a vision and it was good, but then it just went south. <gasps> Gosh, that's just so much hair. I cannot wait to show you the sink right now because it is actually disgusting how much hair I just cut off. And some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, like that's not even a big deal. But like, yo, this is my life. Like I'm a real life human right now and I'm doing this. I don't know why, but I am. You know, it's not one of the best choices I think I've ever made in my life, but it is a choice and it is something that I'm currently doing. When I wake up tomorrow, I might cry. I actually probably will cry off camera. Let's be honest. Like there are actually tears welling up in my eyes right now. Why did I think that it was okay? to just go and cut my hair and not tell my mom or my husband okay actually I did tell my husband I told him I was gonna cut my hair and he was like are you out of your mind and I was just like yes I am 100% fully out of my mind if you feel like you're having a crisis just cut your hair because it doesn't get much worse than that all right guys let's just do the grand reveal because am I gonna start crying on camera <laughs> I'm like legitimately shaking. Brad Mondo did say that these two front pieces would be a little bit longer than the rest. Oh my gosh, it's so short. Hey, but she's straight. Oh, okay, okay, go off, sis. Self evaluation. He said to bring these front pieces. Okay, why is this piece significantly longer than the other ones? Guys, does this not look straight to you? Okay, it, mm, 
It looks a little... Let's see from the back. <laughs> okay, I think this front part was cut a little bit too much. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, shoot, guys. This side got cut a little bit too much. Oh, no. Oh. This, is, this is fixable, right? Like, let's just cut off a little bit more from the back, right? Like, that's fine. I'm botching this so bad. I can't believe I'm recording still. This is awful. Let's see how that looks now. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think it's any better. If anything, I think like this hair right here just got a bit too long. <laughs> oh shoot. I'm just gonna go off camera right now and just kind of cry just like a little bit and then come back in a little bit. She cute. She, she kind of thick. She kind of thick and she cute. So I fixed the back. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see that. It, uh, it's pretty straight. I think this side is a little bit shorter, but that's something that honestly my mom can fix. <laughs> I look like Lord Fourqua. Farqua? Fourqua? Fourqua? I don't know. But let me just show you the sink situation. So, um, yeah, that, that is that is mine um i might just keep it like low-key i might just bag this up i'm not even kidding you like i'm weird like that and i totally think i'm gonna bag this up that was once on my head and now it is not <sighs> here we are i am actually freaking out honestly like this isn't even that bad i i thought it was going to be a little bit shorter but my hair is curly so that's why i didn't want to cut it too short because it will be like this short when it is actually curled so let me style it let me put some makeup on let me try to look cute I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I just got out of the shower. Okay, I didn't just get out of the shower, bro. I got makeup on. Who are you kidding? We are gonna do a grand a reveal of my hair. I haven't seen it. So like, I got out of the shower, I put product in it, and I plopped it. So I'm so nervous. I think because I cut it and it was like a little bit off on like some of the edges, I think it'll be fine because I don't plan on wearing my hair straight. My hair is naturally curly. You will see that in this next clip. As he said, like for curly haired girls, it's not supposed to be literally straight across because our hair is just so textured. So anyways, drum roll please, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is like a reveal for you and for me, so. Oh, I'm so nervous, but like it's, it's already done. So you know what? And uh, here she is. Hey, I'm kind of feeling it. Okay, she cute. Oh my gosh, I actually really like it. Oh my gosh, it's cute. Wait, I love it. Oh no, what do we think? Is it cute? Does she look good? I kind of love it, guys. Oh my gosh. In most of these videos, it's usually a flop and people are like, oh my gosh, I hate it. It turned out so bad, but I cannot wait for it to dry. It's obviously still like pretty wet, but I'm a fan. Kind of feeling the short hair, like short hair vibes. Whew, moral of the story, it's not as traumatizing to cut your hair as I thought it would be. My hair does still have a little bit of stretch on some of the damaged areas, which definitely kind of sucks um, from when I did bleach it, but I'm hoping that those parts will heal and that they'll get better and that I don't know. My hair will, will start to grow healthy again. I miss having healthy hair. I liked having very full, very voluptuous hair, but not everybody's lucky enough to have that. So for the meantime, it will be cute, short, and yeah, I'm going to rock this style, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this was a roller coaster of a video. I like mentally, emotionally, physically, I am drained. I am 100% drained. I'm probably just going to go take a nap now because my body and my hair is telling me to do that. So <laughs> love you guys the most. See ya.